You guys recommended the tinted sunscreen from Fresh Skin Lab, so here's my review. I got it for buy one take one, super cheap. The consistency is very thick. For me, it's more of a foundation rather than a tinted sunscreen. It has a medium to full coverage. You can achieve a more full coverage with a brush, but I prefer using a sponge. Here's how it looks like on half of my face. True to its name, it has a dewy, glowy finish. I prefer using a sponge because I like a medium coverage and I find that it's too heavy when I use a brush. Here's how it looks like with two layers. It's a little tacky so I would suggest that you set it. As you can see, I'm having a hard time blending my bronzer because it's a little tacky. Here's how it looks like with a full face of makeup. I've set it with a powder and a setting spray. What do you guys think? It's a yes for me if I apply a very thin layer. Any more than that, it's cakey. You guys recommended the tinted sunscreen from Fresh Skin Lab, so here's my review. I got it for buy one take one, super cheap. The consistency is very thick. For me, it's more of a foundation rather than a tinted sunscreen. It has a medium to full coverage. You can achieve a more full coverage with a brush, but I prefer using a sponge. Here's how it looks like on half of my face. True to its name, it has a dewy, glowy finish. I prefer using a sponge because I like a medium coverage and I find that it's too heavy when I use a brush. Here's how it looks like with two layers. It's a little tacky so I would suggest that you set it. As you can see, I'm having a hard time blending my bronzer because it's a little tacky. Here's how it looks like with a full face of makeup. I've set it with a powder and a setting spray. What do you guys think? It's a yes for me if I apply a very thin layer. Any more than that, it's cakey.